now we are done with the digestion of carbohydrates and today's video is going to be talking about the digestion and absorption of protein if you've not watched our video on the digestion of carbohydrates you have to do so because a student actually requested for this particular video we will be making good and everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for students like i earlier said today we're going to be talking about the digestion of protein what happens when you eat egg what happens in the body so that's all we're going to be discussing today but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel kindly click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out let's go there welcome back like I earlier said today I'm gonna to be telling you about the digestion of protein what happens when you take in proteinous food so we'll be using egg as an example we all know that um, digestion generally begins in the mouth digestion generally begins in the mouth so whatever you eat you have to chew right so you have to chew you have to masticate as mastication has to take place so whenever you take in protein what happens in the mouth is just mechanical digestion unlike carbohydrate that has both mechanical and chemical digestion but whenever you take in proteinous food such as egg the first thing that takes place in the mouth is mechanical digestion that is the chewing then also there's a release of saliva this saliva helps to aid your chewing helps to aid the swallowing into the esophagus and from the esophagus into the stomach for protein there is no enzyme acting on it in the mouth so after that that protein now forms bile it now goes into uh, the stomach then what happens in the stomach unlike carbohydrates you remember that in carbohydrates there is what there is no di chemical digestion in the stomach but in protein there is chemical and mechanical digestion of protein what happens is that for protein there's a release of ID hydrochloric acid gastric juice this gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid and also what we call pepsin contains what hydrochloric acid and pepsin this hydrochloric acid and pepsin act on the protein that leaves the mouth to the stomach and break them into smaller uh, pieces from there this um, this protein leaves the stomach and goes into the small intestine as chyme. So what now happens in the small intestine? In the small intestine, polypeptides are broken down. We all know polypeptide. Polypeptide is plenty protein, like you have your polysaccharides. So these polypeptides in the small intestine are broken down into amino acid, dipeptide, and tripeptide. It's broken down into what? Amino acid dipeptide and tripeptide by protein digestive enzymes what are these enzymes now that act on this protein in the small intestine they are known as the trypsin and chemotrypsin they are really are pancreatic enzymes they are released from the pancreas remember i said there's a connection between the duodenum and the pancreas so when proteinous food enter the duodenum there's a release of what chemotrypsin and trypsin that helps to what break this polypeptide into what amino acid dipeptide and tripeptide so after that a variety of different transport proteins move the product from the protein digestion into the mucosal cell it's more or less like absorption when it's been broken down that's your amino acid your tripeptide and dipeptide they have been moved into the mucosal cells of the intestine they have been moved they have been moved into the mucosal cell of the intestine by some transport protein so there are some amino acid that makes use of similar transport protein then after that you remember that the end product of um, um, protein digestion is what amino acid and we also said that it's broken down into dipeptides tripeptide those ones have to be broken down so what happened the dipeptide and tripeptides can enter the mucosa cells alongside with the amino acid so once they enter inside they are broken down finally into what amino 
acid. Then amino acid from the mucosa now of the intestine goes into the bloodstream and travel to the liver. The liver regulates amino acid distribution. So that is what you need to know. That is a summary of protein digestion and absorption. And also some little protein can go out as fecal matter. In summary, just know that the digestion of protein begins in the mouth generally. But in the mouth, there is just what? There is only mechanical digestion and the addition of what? Your saliva that helps to mold it. In, uh, that may have to mold it and pass it into the esophagus from the esophagus to the stomach and when it gets to the stomach that's where your um, hydrochloric acid that's your gastric juices that are have them um, hydrochloric acid and pepsin they act on the protein and break it down into smaller particles and also there is a difference between carbohydrate digestion and um, protein digestion if you notice uh, protein digestion definitely is going to take longer time in the stomach right it's going to take longer time in the stomach the higher your protein diet the higher it takes for the digestion to take place in the stomach unlike carbohydrate that just enters the stomach and it's moved like it doesn't spend time you just have to take some peristaltic movements some churning and it goes to um, the small intestine then also in this protein digestion in the small intestine the pancreas release chemotrypsin and trypsin and this help to break polypeptides that has plenty of protein joined together into smaller ones such as your amino acid your dipeptides and your tripeptides then finally it's been absorbed into the mucosa from the mucosa is absorbed into the bloodstream and also take note of the fact that the liver helps to regulate what amino acid distribution so that is that for the summary of metabolism of um, protein and its absorption thank you very much for watching our video thank you very much for staying tuned don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value our next video is going to be talking about the digestion and absorption of fat for those that have not registered for our classes on telegram the fact is you have been missing a lot when you have access to our telegram classes you have access to all our voice notes on the various systems medical surgical nursing community health research and all you can think about and there's an opportunity for you to ask questions and we'll make either a voice note or a video for you explaining your question better thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead see you in our next video bye